what, what do we got going on here? All right, uh, chat, this is a game called Pools, and it has been recommended a bunch. And it is another one of these games, but it's like overwhelmingly positive on Steam. And people keep saying this is really good. So I've seen a lot of these types of games at this point. And I want to know why this one is being touted as something I needed to see. So we're going to get the highest graphics. Let's just keep everything else as is for now. And uh, we'll give it a shot, shall we? I hear the liminal man is in this game. Vinny, the black boxes are the options selected. Wait, let's see if the water is interactive and then we'll we'll see. I think chat member was right. Yep, chat member was right. Well, this is now just a subgenre. It's pool core. Delete motion blur. It's it's so minimal, it's really kind of not even bothering me. This chair, I've talked about this before. I've seen someone sit in that chair and break it. Almost that exact chair. Those are bad chairs. Anyway, uh, so I don't know what this game holds for us, chat. I've been told it is a somewhat uncomfortable experience. With nice visuals and good pools. And yes, I've played games with pools before. Plenty. There's wet footsteps. Okay, so there's nice... This has got the best graphics, possibly. Now, I know there's another one of these games that actually has monsters in it. And I don't believe that this is that game. This could only be scary if you imagine the smell. Chlorine. Beep. Wow. Why is this under horror? Probably, um... I don't know, is anyone scared? <laughs> Not yet. Well, this liminal stuff I kind of find interesting because I do like weird places. Like, there's this one hotel in Kingston, New York that I went to that has, like, the weird rooms that face inward, like an atrium. But it's a weird angle, and it's kind of old and crusty, and we just looped. So it's kind of old and a little crusty, and it just is empty a lot. And at night, the lights are kind of barely on, and... Just existing in that space feels, like, kind of off. It's kind of neat, actually. I, I like it. I wouldn't say I'm scared by it. I, I just kind of enjoy that it exists and that it's, like, kind of irregular. Non-standard, if you will. Uh, but, yeah, in terms of, like, fear... These games do need to implement some kind of liminal man, otherwise I'm not buying it. Vinny, can you put a little reverb on your mic for the immersion? We can try. 
Um, okay, I don't know what this is going to sound like, chat. What does it sound like, chat? I think that's too much reverb. Like here. here. What do you what think, do you think that? of that? Chat, what do you think of this? It's not too much. It's just a little something. It's pretty good, right? Okay. That was the default setting. It's, um, it's called Ambience. I'll show you the plugin if you're interested. It was like a free one. All right. Now it feels like we're really here. Is the water cold? You know what? My interpretation of this water is that it's, it's warm. It's like room temperature pee. We loop back around again. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely kind of warm in here, chat. And and I would say, I would say it's very, yeah, chlorine is the smell. Oops. It's like kind of humid. It's damp. Yeah, definitely damp. Vinny, would you ever pee in a pool? I, I have, uh, uh, when I was younger, yeah. Like when I was a baby. Does that count? What is that noise? I've peed in the ocean, chat. You're the Atlantic leaker. I'm the reason the Atlantic Ocean is in the state it's in. I did have a little cousin. I got my, my own pee medicine handed to me though, Jack, because when I was younger, I've told the story, I had a little cousin that would uh, go in the pool and uh, one time he swam by me he was probably like seven at the time and he just like kind of swam he looked at me went pee pool i said what he goes pee pool i said oh oh no 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 pee pool no pee pool pee pool and then i just swam away and out i just left i was like yeah i'm good on in the pee pool right now This sounds like a Joel story. I'm sure he had. You know what? I found that the human condition applies across many cultures. If you can believe it. Chat, am I looping again? Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Someone just said, is this not Joel? The worst part is... I don't know if that chat member is, is serious or not. 
there is a non-zero chance that that chat member just thinks I'm actually Joel. That happens a lot. As do some people think Joel is me. I am Vinny. Joel is a different person. We have different voices. And I am not Swedish. That is a true story. Also, Dave in chat just said, pool backwards is loop. Does this look like the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel? The sides of the, uh, the tiling do look a little bit like the Battery Tunnel, yeah. What is the point of this game? You are up, you, you go through the pool rooms. Every lifeguard was forced to do this as training in New Jersey. Yeah, they had their own pool rooms, didn't they? I was friends with multiple lifeguards in my day, chat. It's true. Uh, and, and I... Um, the one time I went to Reese Park, where my friend lifeguarded, was the one time there was ever a death It is true, and I've told the story before. It's, it's a little dark, so I don't think I'm going to go fully into it, but it's, that's the whole, basically that's what happened. Yeah, there was someone. So I remember he, we were about to leave, and then we had to uh, run, because he had to respond to what was happening. We saw helicopters. We we're going to go get something to eat. We saw helicopters, and uh, we ran. And I couldn't keep up because I was not a lifeguard. So I could make it across like a certain amount and then I had to just walk and then run again and then walk and run again. So he got there before I did. And yeah, it was, oh, that was a hell of a fucking day. So that's as much as I'll get into it. But yeah, it was a nice, I didn't, I didn't enjoy that very much. What the fuck? future refused to change. So you're in the pool rooms. You're hungry. You know you can't drink the water because it's all chlorinated. There's nothing to eat. The air itself is sticking to your lungs. And then you hear that. No running. But truly, what is that? That's actually... You would think those are windows, but I think there's just fluorescent lights behind them. Chlorine will eventually, eventually evaporate, and then you could drink the water. Interesting. So, we found something. We found a duck. Which, as you know, I'm, I'm just thrilled. So, if this was actually happening to me in real life, and I found duck, I would actually be like, oh, this is fine. 
And then I would go here and be not fine again. What is the duck's name? Kremrold. Oh, that's the echo of my footsteps. Do you have sub -mech mechanophobia? No, I don't think I do. I do have a little bit of thalassophobia, though, which is like the fear of deep ocean, or just being out in the middle of the ocean, alone, floating. Uh, I do once in a while have a weird dream about that. Also, seeing Jaws at a young age didn't help. So here's a slide. See, this is fun. Jack, what do you think it would be like if you went back to the year 1988 and you showed someone this game and be like, there are like hundreds of games like this now. And just don't even try to explain it. Yeah, I guess they would view it as an art project. They'd burn you at the stake. All right, this is 88. They would do cocaine with you in a bathroom. Let's be real. They'd assume it's a tech demo. No, but how do you explain this genre? Like, we've, we've become slowly accustomed to it because of the liminal space pictures. We've seen those. We've seen games that have done the pool rooms. Gmod was definitely a big part of me understanding this stuff and getting into it. I mean, the appeal definitely wears off after a while, but... I also happen to love walking simulators, and for the 14 years I've been streaming, walking simulators have been a staple of the games that I play. I thought I was actually someone that coined the term walking simulator, which is probably 100% not true, but I don't think when I started saying it, I had ever heard it before. Coin term, please. That is one of my, <clears throat> that's one of my nicknames. I did, yeah, egg-like was my, was my stupid word, yeah. Kojima makes walking simulators now. Eh, kinda. I invented walking simulators, Vinny Vine Sauce. April 29, 2024. Chat, what did you see? What did you see? An escape hatch in the water? Oh. What the fuck? That's the liminal man! We found him! Yeah, I don't like that. Um, it's one thing when you play a game like this and it's totally empty hallways and there's just nothing other than you and your thoughts and the water. But then it's another thing when once in a while they're just like, hey, here's a little something to tickle your taint. Like when you screamed making pizza. All right, we don't, we don't have to talk about the screaming. <clears throat> I'm very brave, and I, I don't get scared of video games. He 
even though it happened twice in the past week. The thing with that pizza game, though, is when you start the pizza game, hang on. When you start the pizza game, they show you a ghost in the hallway pretty much immediately. So there's a part of me that knew there was going to be something, I just didn't expect that. Oh, okay, I just wanted to make sure there was a, a ladder. Because I saw this diving board, and that struck me as interesting. Played Garbage Land in the car with my mom today. She thought it was Beck. I'm good with that. Can we get, can we get that on Beck's algorithm? Just like, so people would be listening to, like, Loser and Where It's At. Oh, shit. And then that comes on. That would be cool. Okay. This would be really cool in VR. This is why I kind of wish VR took off a little bit more and was a little bit more standardized where there weren't... Like, I wish all the money that was put into VR by shitty Facebook and other companies was to create an open, like, VR for everybody so it wasn't segmented off. Uh, but anyway, that's a different story entirely. What I want to say is this. I wish VR was a little bit more mainstream, so stuff like this would launch with a PC version, like a desktop version, and a VR version day one. So I guess this game, this game is divided into chapters. And uh, clearly we just saw the first chapter. And I like that. I like that it has chapters so you know you're making progress. Jerma said he wants a pool like this in his living room. Well. You know, we were talking about the Beach Boys before. Brian Wilson had a sandbox, and he had a piano in the middle of the sandbox, so he could play the piano with sand under his feet. Why? There's a lot of psychedelics going around in the 60s. Weird choice. Oh, yeah, well, he wrote Good Vibrations, apparently, doing that, so I guess it worked. But, um... I don't think I would want a pool in the middle of my living room because the living room would smell like pool and I don't need pool smell all the time in my life. Thank you very much. Mold too? Oh yeah. Love that mold. How about this chat? Carpet surrounding a living room pool. Okay, now, like, what are we in? Some kind of, like, temple for Osiris? Chat, picture a waterbed. But you forget to take the keys out of your pocket. Picture shag carpet in your bathroom. I 
I mean, that's the stuff I was doing in House Flipper. That's why I should have won that competition, because I was making the coolest houses. I have like a kind of a problem with public pools, actually. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not, but like even like a, a hotel pool. Too much piss. Well, it's just like human stew. I mean, I, I know you can kind of knock a lot of that out with chlorine and everything, but I don't like it. Vinny, take a shower. I do, even though there was some kind of fucking newspaper article about how taking a shower is performative. What? Well, it kind of is, if you think about it, though, because, like, we take showers for also for the benefit of other people, so we don't fucking smell rancid. But, I mean, it's also, hygiene is good. Very, very silly hill to die on. Kills germs that stick on your body. That, that is why we wash our hands, isn't it? Yeah. New slide just dropped. Chapter 1 into Chapter 2. Like, Chapter 1 felt like the classic pool rooms that we are used to. I don't know what just happened there. The swing. Monster loaded in? I don't believe that. Oh, you can zoom. Okay, cool. Oh, you get a pretty decent zoom. Fake loading zone to make you think a monster is here would be funny. How many people would actively process that as such is my question. Vinny, the other door was gone? Huh? Whoa, 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 what? I really need to stop reading the chat while I play this. I'm missing subtle, like, things. I'm not immersing myself enough. Sorry, chat. Um, the other door was gone.
Yeah, it's kind of weird because even though it's such a minimal game, even just seeing light after being in a dark room for so long starts to evoke like a kind of a feeling. That was a liminal man chat. Do you think you're clothed or naked? Duck! Yeah, naked duck. Uh, clothed, because we have shoes on. I mean, I guess you could wear shoes while you have no other clothes on, but that's... No, there's... Yeah, there's clothes. I, I truly do believe there be, be clothing. There be being clothing. Let me just make sure the ducks are hanging out together. All right. Would liminal spaces be scarier if you were naked? I, I would actually say yes. Imagine walking around in soaking clothing. Well, here's the thing, yeah. Okay. Yes, that would be kind of fucking weird, being completely naked in the pool rooms. I can't believe I'm even, I'm even discussing this. This is a weird topic. However, soaking clothing, like heavy, wet clothes, yeah, that's also pretty uncomfortable. Smooth jazz. I kind of want to actually be here in real life, though, for a little while and just go, like, swimming around in the various rooms. I wonder what the closest place to something like this is. Like, obviously, the source of those images, the initial images that started the liminal thing. But, like, I do wonder, like, are there places where there's just a series of interconnected rooms connected by pool? YMCA. <laughs> Massive spa. Tokyo flood tunnels. There's a mile-long indoor water park somewhere in Europe. Probably someone's McMansion somewhere. Also, picture the amount of people that grew up with this kind of shit now that end up getting, like, multi-millionaire rich that are just going to put pool rooms and liminal spaces in their houses. I don't know if that would happen, but it's possible. The new Mick Mansion, only at Mick Danuge. Now with indoor pool rooms and self-smoking cigarettes. So you can always get that smoky atmosphere that you love so much. We, someone in chat said, um, they know someone that put a hundred seat theater in their house, their mansion. And my immediate thought is like, Stanley Kubrick, S Steven Spielberg, George Lucas. I mean, I'm sure these guys, I'm sure plenty of directors have their own movie theaters. They know a hundred people. I think, yeah, you, you think Spielberg doesn't know a hundred people? Someone said, well, Kubrick isn't very alive anymore. His work lives on.
They say the theater is haunted by Stanley Kubrick, his own personal home theater. And like every year, it invites a hundred people at random. And they show up and they're like, oh, who invited us? No one, it's ghosts. And they just watch Deep Throat. However, with the soundtrack of Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> Vinny, how do you read chat if there's over a thousand people in it? I don't. New color grading just dropped. Kind of Beetlejuice-esque. Like that, that's what I consider Beetlejuice. Long, slanted, crooked arches. Someone said rusty room. I bet this smells like rust. Mildew. Confused. Is the waterfall is this like Zelda? Where there's just like floating waterfalls? Or are they like glass encasements as well? Plexiglass. I mean it you know doesn't have to make perfect logical sense, but I'm listen, I'm pretending I'm here in real life. Trying to get into it, chat. Can you do Italian Watto, please? Listen, the second I do Italian Watto, I'm gonna get jump scared. So I'm gonna pass on that for now. We need some reverb Mario 64 water level music. It's not a bad idea. Hang on. Water level Mario 64 music reverb. It probably exists. It does, but they slowed it down too. slow down actually I'm not gonna keep this the whole time but I kind of like this right now sauna
Toilet. I wonder if this is overflowing or if it's just here. I think it's just there. Maybe it's the source of all the water. Then how many years did it take to fill up the whole place? I, I do look for coiled shit when I find a toilet in a video game chat. It's now kind of a mission of mine. There's a green thing. It's a tube. reverb on the song. There already is some. But, you know, I can't just, like, do that without taking time. We're going in the Luigi tube, yeah. Can you slightly muffle it? I'm playing a YouTube video. <laughs> if you want me to do some audio editing, I could probably do that, but I'm, I'm content with what we have now. Thank you. <laughs> Does that space not make any sense? Vinny, go back. What do you mean, go back? What, what did you see? Look up. Look up. statue chat I believe an entitita or la creatura if you will I just made up that word I don't know if entitita is actually a real word probably not The music, yeah, it just kind of accidentally stopped at the, at the exact right moment, just when I saw the strange liminal statue man. Are you scared yet? No? Well, look at this. Maybe I'll be in the news again for that. Turns out, chat, that people like slowing down and putting reverb on lots of watery music. There's no toilets.
There's one toilet. At least there's inner tubes. What game is this song from? This is Ocarina of Time Water Temple. Large sauna. You ever, like sweat from your eyeballs, chat? Like, it's weird. Like, if you watch something really sad, like your eyeballs just start sweating. Crying? Is this happening? Is this happening? Or did I get heat stroke? And am I hallucinating this? You know, chat, while this is happening, I have one more, one more song. That's gotta hurt. Footsteps. Those weren't my footsteps. Unrelated footsteps. Vinny, I think you have a camera? It was you, you were just picking up the camera. MC Escher. This, this is what his mansion looked like. Some people had movie theaters. No, Escher had this. the thinker but he's only thinking about like squeezing that next log out <laughs> the stinker someone just said sad chairman Keanu became sad chairman for a while 
chairman of the board. Spelled B-O-R-E-D. Someone just said, great, Vinny, good one. I'm glad you enjoyed my joke. You know, you gotta have a little levity when you're lost in the pool rooms. And all that you can smell are the previous feet of those who have come before. Great view. I had become the chairman. We all have our chairman moment, you know? No one person can stay chairman for too long. It's a title. I think I made it through that maze quicker than I was supposed to. Vinny, you might have missed something at the toilets. I probably missed a number of things. missed a number two. Again, perfect music for this. Yeah, I would love to experience this in VR. Or something like this, on this level of quality and visual fidelity. With that smell-o-vision shit that they're trying to reintroduce again, as they have been since the 40s. And that treadmill that you'll bust your ass on if you don't practice for 20 minutes a day. Congregation. What is a group of flamingos? It's not a murder of flamingos, is it? It's a council. A flock. It's just a flock. Because that looks like a council to me, and I'm the chairman. Sad chairman. Yeah, that's Kojima's next main villain. A flamboyance of flamingos. Interesting. See, we're learning. We get education as we get our existential dread about watery rooms.
We got windows now, chat. I'm just going to keep going upwards. There's like a big blue slide. I wonder if that's our objective. Well, that seems to just take you to this flamboyance of flamingos. And not out of here. I would love for a slide to just take you into directly into a ball pit in some abandoned mall. Same place. Oh, this is here. Okay. Where that, where that ladder was. The closest I've, I've ever had to being in a place that feels just kind of weird and too big and empty and lonely, whatever you want to call it, is that fucking mall in White Plains from last year, almost a year ago to the day, uh, for the Generation Lost thing that Rambo did. And, uh, the mall had recently closed. All the stores were gutted. Many of them were turned into sets. And the thing is, at any given time, there were maybe like 50 people in there, and most of them were in their own departments. So when they were filming scenes that I wasn't a part of, I would just walk around the mall. And uh, I recorded some of that video, but my video quality was set to like economy or whatever, so it, it's not that great. But I did do a behind-the-scenes video, and you can see there's one... One area in particular that was pretty cool was the long-ass hallways. There were several of them, but... I filmed a scene with Kriken. And there's like a long-ass hallways behind the stores in the malls. And it's like, it runs the length of the mall, and it's just empty and fucking long, and you can just see all the way to the end of this hallway. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. That's right. This is where the murder happened. Those are for the loading dock stuff. Yeah, I think that's how they load the stores in, but... Load in the stores, rather. But yeah, it was still kind of weird, especially considering the rest of the mall was abandoned, and there were some areas where the... the lights just weren't... Uh, the lights weren't on. Like, some of the mall had power for where they were filming and where there was activity, and some of it... had nothing. And that was the stuff I enjoyed the most. Like, I... It's weird because maybe it's since it's been a year, but I've been having, like, weird flashbacks and just, like, very intense thoughts of being in that mall lately. Um, even a dream. Where I was in, like, an empty mall. And it's probably just because I'm thinking, like, how the fuck has it been a year? And, like, did that really happen? Is that something I was actually a part of? It's crazy. But... Yeah, I, I can't... I kind of can't stop thinking about that mall chat. Reunion. You need to do some urban exploration again. I don't think I'm cut out for urban exploration. I mean, I do watch the Bright Sun film channel films uh, and Sal and all those channels that do the abandoned locations. But, uh... Yeah. It's, I don't think that's something I would necessarily do. I would probably... 
you know, if I ever did something like that, it wouldn't be something with like needles on the floor. Let's put it that way. It, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be that level. But if any, you know what? If anyone knows of any cool places for me to go film, why not send an email? No guarantee I would do it, but it would be kind of interesting to see what locations exist. Stuff that isn't just like, here's a haunted, abandoned, insane asylum. Or whatever. You know, like the usual cliches. I don't, I don't want to do the cliches. But, um... And I probably wouldn't do it anyway, but it's... It's weird, because being in that mall felt... It was like potent, chat. I don't know why I said the word like that, but it was potent. What's the email? It's vinesauce.email. That's the webpage. Go there, fill out the contact form. Also, if you know any good locations for Redvox to play a show in Brooklyn or <laughs> Manhattan, if you run a venue, know someone that runs a venue, etc., etc., get in touch with that too. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You never know. I mean, hey, there's people here. May as well ask, right? Ah, whoa, whoa. What about West Coast? Uh, again, I've talked about that. There's almost no way we can get to the West Coast. Touring is prohibitively expensive. Several of the band members have kids. We're not a big enough band where we don't, we don't have a tour manager. We don't have a record label, anything. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, it means the world to me that people want to see us live. But yeah, that's, that's a real... That was a ghost. That was a ghost. But we don't have um, an easy way to do that, and we've only ever done a handful of shows ever anyway. So it's, it's not something that would be in the cards. But we, you know, I'm getting older, and I like the idea of doing shows, and people do like what we do, so fuck it. I, so I ask if there's people who may know of a venue that would be interested in a band that plays dad rock. It's worth the shot. You do birthday parties? No. This is like a White House pool room. I think maybe we need to get up there. You do baptisms. I personally do baptisms. <laughs> it's like a side gig. Aren't you doing a show soon at Too Many Games? Well, yeah, I mean... There's a part of me that wants to do one before that, just to get the chops up, and then there's a part of me that also wants to do some after that, because it'll be fun. We have a couple places in mind already anyway, but we're, you know, taking it slow. We're, we're, we are not primarily a live band, so this is more just for fun. Madison Square Garden. Okay, well get me Madison's number and I will check out the garden. It's a square one, huh? Do I want to go through... You know what? No, we're going to go through the spooky door. I feel like spooky door is a sign of progress. 
And it would be foolish to ignore Spooky Door. Wow. Okay. There's a slide going in right in that mouth. This game has some pretty nice ambient sounds as well, and like uh, music-esque emotion, uh, what's the word, like mood setters, yeah. Chat, I officially would fucking hate this if I was wearing, like, wet clothes for the hour or so we've been here. And every time your clothes are starting to get dry, you gotta go back into the water. Chapter 5. I think in a situation like this, if this actually happened to you, seeing a broken clock would be very demoralizing. Because, like, how would you even know what time it is anyway? Like, maybe that's just one of those things where... Like, how long would it take for you just not knowing either to stop caring or for it to break you? Among other things, obviously, time is probably the least of your problems here. Maybe you can, like, suck the moisture out of the bricks? Well, chat, considering there are toilets here, I think we're officially in a brick shithouse. Choose the form of your destructor. Kind of like interstellar for pools. But yeah, right about now, I would probably start... I, I mean, I would have been freaking out already, but I think at this point, it's been like an hour. You know, you're, you're in here, and it just is seemingly never-ending. Getting hungry getting slightly thirsty. Again, you have no idea what time it is. You don't know why you're here. You don't know where you... You don't know where they came from. The smell is starting to get to you. Your clothes are soaking wet.
got an achievement for that. Can you break through the walls? It seems like... I mean, maybe you could grab a brick from a pile and just start, like, bashing into a wall, but again, how long until you run out of energy? What wall? You know, th these walls seem pretty solid. Nothing to do but keep going. Big fluorescent light panels could be a start. Yeah, you could try. You could, like, break that and see what's in there. Maybe something's behind there. I mean, there's uh, these two, but I'm assuming those are also fluorescent panels just behind windows. probably also start making loud noises and just like start listening to the sound of my own voice in the echo. I, maybe, I don't know, just to hear something. My, loud noises might attract them. Attract whom? Someone said I'd be terrified of every noise I heard. Yeah, me too. Probably. I mean, it's already happened even in this game. I've heard a couple weird noises. It was just like a door closing. How long until you start doing weird noises? As my sanity leaves me and my energy runs out and my appetite just gets more and more and, and I'm like drawing final breaths, I'm just going to be like... And then I'm like, Granddad! It was me! I was the Granddad guy! It'll be like Rosebud, but instead of Rosebud, it'll just be Granddad. Grandfather. Okay, we're approaching very different style of architecture here than we have previously seen. It's like house core. Chat, you are aware that you will be whisked away to these pool rooms. You can bring three items with you. None of these items can reach the outside world. So a phone, no service. Radio, no radio. Nothing like that. A drill dough, I don't know if a drill dough exists, but you can, you can try. Chip, soda, a guitar, I bet the you can get Tone. You can find T-O-A-N in here. I know he's in here somewhere. Three pairs of jorts. That's good. Rations, loaded gun, Nintendo Switch. 
Oh, we got some stuff happening. Okay. Well, rations, the problem with that is you can't, I don't think you can just say rations. I'm making the rules here, so I can kind of, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what you can't do. When you say rations, I don't think you can bring, like, a ton of rations in my reality of the situation. I think you have to be realistic about how much ration you can bring. I don't know if that's one ration or several packed tight, but that is something that you have to consider. Maybe enough to fit in like a backpack. Stuff that you can carry around. Someone said, what about a jackhammer? Could, if it's battery powered. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Does your phone not work in this place? I am assuming it doesn't because look at it. Jackhammer generator, as much gas as you'd allow for this exercise. As much as you can carry on you to bring to the location. Let's put it that way. How's that for a rule? You can only bring three. One of each has to be a separate item. Right? So three separate items. But as much as you can carry. If that includes that amount of food, that's fine. But if you bring a jackhammer, hopefully you can lift that shit. And hopefully you can lift your generator and the gasoline required. Can I bring a mule? Mm. Why do you have to lift it? Because this is my thought exercise, chat member. <laughs> oh god. Uh oh, it's, it's back rooms now. It, it's back rooms. I think I would try to bring maybe C4. And then just, you know, try to blow up a wall. Yeah, this is moldy carpet back rooms. It's actually happening, chat. The allure of the back rooms was just too hard to resist, wasn't it? However, these are... It's a good twist on the back rooms. just for show. That would probably, yeah, I mean, my thought would be, are we in England somewhere? Can I grow mushrooms to eat? Oh, so you're going long haul, chat member. Because you have some options here. You, you potentially have the method to, like if you bring a Nintendo Switch or a Steam Deck, you could amuse yourself for a while, but again, if you run out of batteries, I don't see any outlets. Maybe you can find where this light energy is coming from and get, get in there. You can... Bring a colony of bugs to populate the rooms. You know, I guess you could do that. Or you can just find a way to, like, grow mushrooms and survive and just live out the rest of your days here. Or you can bring a loaded gun, like Mario would suggest. And you can shoot your way out. However you interpret that. I do think, like, a toolkit of some kind would be a good idea. Maybe, like, a way to crimp wires. I don't even know what I'm talking about, chat. <laughs> but I need you to crump the wires. So that way, maybe you can find a way to power your stuff. I don't know. This is an interesting thought exercise for me. I would bring one Grignola, Mara. 
uh, granola bar. Vinny, you missed the corpse again, huh? What corpse? You saw a corpse? Can we bring someone else with us as one of the items? I personally would not allow that if I was the shock master of this. However, you could bring a real doll. Pretend each rewind is an actual death. So that means how many times have I accidentally ended up dying in the back rooms, in the, in the pool rooms today? Like five or six? Seven? Bring metal boots and a blue tunic. It's funny because this design here is where we shot the uh, the scene with the lasers and the anvil crushing my head in that mall was like an old Sephora, I think, or something like that, and it had this black and white tile color scheme kind of thing. So, this just brought back the memory as well. Vinny has stolen that mall. My spirit has never left that mall. You know what happened, Chad? It was like Chrono Trigger. What happened was, I had the anvil actually fall on my real head. And that, that was like a different dimension. That splintered off, and then, like, some chat members in my mods replaced me with the doll. And then the anvil fell on the doll's head. So they took me out of the situation and replaced me with the doll, and that's why I'm here now in this reality. Someone said, okay, Grandpa, take your meds. Hey, I'm just... This is what I learned from Final Fantasy Rebirth. An escalator to heaven. Vinny, may I bring my HP laser jet M? 110W desktop wireless laser printer. Well, if you bring enough ink, you'll be rich when you get out. If you get out, you just sell that like it's liquid gold. Backwards radio. Are you afraid of escalators breaking under you? No, escalators and elevators don't freak me out. I, I half expected that to not open. Oh 
shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. The fuck kind of Truman Show shit is this? underground city for these workers no one can know they're there i won't even know they're there but we're gonna get them on the ground you would think that this is some sort of like experiment to watch someone like live in like a Germa-esque dollhouse, but um, you know the door is closed I would try to break into that door if this was real life, yeah, I would, I would like really try to get in there maybe there's food in there I don't know, or like a bed, this would be a place to like just stay for a while until you can figure out how to get out of here Oh, never mind, there's fucking dozens of these houses. What's that noise? I thought that was like Nuketown, but I think that was an earthquake. However, was it a planned earthquake by whoever made this place? I believe this is the last uh, chapter. Still be pools. So that's kind of infuriating. Well, finally we get some place that probably doesn't smell terribly like chlorine and some nice comfy chairs. Even a chessboard, but no pieces. I wonder if this was like the beginning. And maybe this was just like some panels that were in the beginning. Maybe all of these panels have stuff behind them that you just can't see through. You could just sit your goofy ass down in the realign chair. Just when the clothes dried. That looks like 
maybe death down there if you don't know how to swim. Every time you sit, you shit, and a year goes by. That's another thing. What if it is like Interstellar, where you're on that planet, and every, like, minute you're in here, a day goes by in real life? And you know that from the beginning. And it's like, if you're not careful, everything you love and know will be completely gone or completely different by the time you're out. That's not how time works. I, I know this... Also, chat member, this is a game with pool rooms. But yeah, relativity. I mean, it was illustrated on that planet in Interstellar, and I don't know how accurate the science... I mean, from what I understand, the science of that movie was relatively accurate. But that was the most fucked up scene in the whole movie. This massive sauna is probably generating the heat for the pools, which is why I think these pools and the water is like room temperature pee. Like slightly warmer than room temperature. What would your sweat smell like after being here for so long? Well, I think chlorine, it's pool water. Because, I mean, in order to even get to this point, you've had to swim through that much of it. Vinny, you missed the duck room? What? Are you serious? This is the room we were looking into earlier. To say, this gives the illusion of being lost more than you actually get lost. Like, I was only lost here a couple times compared to how many thought I thought I would be. The giant buzzsaw. Yeah. Uh, forget about the duck room. We'll just go this way. It turned on. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be living in these houses. And depending on where this is in the world, you know, 500k for a house. This is where all lost houses go. 
You know how like uh, when you lose a sock, they all go to like one specific sock zone? It's well known. When people lose houses, they go here. Great place to sleep right here. You know what though, after all this, I would actually take a nap here. It looks cozy. I mean, it kind of looks cozy. It also kind of looks like a fucking morgue. Or like just a crypt with a moldy pillow in it. I've heard about the Lost Media song. Everybody knows that. That people were looking for for like a year, and then they found out it was from a porno. I heard about that, yeah. And like there's no full version of it without like moans. Yep. Did you hear about the Nirvana demo that leaked a few days ago? I, that I don't know about, and I would like to know about that. demo of opinion where someone interrupts Kurt by shitting in his toilet. I, uh, you, I read that. I read that out loud. It's the best Nirvana song, Beans, but it's a 30 minute rendition. You know, Gray Leno could probably cover that song. I realize there are people that wear Nirvana shirts out in the open, you know, out in the wild. They wear their Nirvana hoodies. They don't know their songs. Guarantee you these, these people have never heard Beans. Imagine wearing a Nirvana hoodie and not knowing the song Beans. Vinny, you're being a nerd. Oh yeah? Have you heard the song Beans? I'm gonna play you Beans. I'm gonna do it, chat. And you know what's crazy? It's gonna get content claimed. Sheep? What? Real sheep? Moving? There is a part of me that wanted the sheep to do something demonic as I approached it. Someone just said food. What are you going to cook? How are you gonna cook it? Or you can rip it apart with your hands, or like use like. I, you know, just keep it as a pet at that point. Now you have a friend. Because what happens after the sheep? Then there's no more sheep. Oh yeah, milk. Well then, how does the sheep get food? This is truly hell. from each other. Yeah, chat, I don't think there's an infinite food cycle between uh, human and sheep. Anyway, this is, this is reminding me a lot of Half-Life 2 now.
No chess pieces, huh? No room can be without a pool. Alright, there's been plenty, but... You know, when it's been too long, a pool must be added. That's the design philosophy. Art? Someone's kid drew that. Same for that, right? I mean, the psychological effects this would have if you were actually here and then you just showed up at like an art exhibit. <laughs> like, what? This one is the best. You know, Tears for Fears wrote their album here. Yeah, it's true. The album is called Songs from the Big Chair. That's the big chair. Garfield? I think that's fucking Garfield chat. Another duck. Nothing. Sorry, nothing. Machinery. I wonder if this is transporting those creatures. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I said creatures, but you know what I meant. Statues. Um. Well, that would have given me hope, and then the hope would have immediately been dashed by that bed. Kind of the painting we were just seeing a bunch of. Would you sleep there for 100k? What, just not knowing if there was a train? No. Excuse me, is that meat? Yep. It's just a meat log pillar. No reason. Vinny, that's food. Is it? This is the coiled shit you've been looking for. No, I, I mean, you would need a camping kit or something, but it could maybe be food. It's just kind of mystery meat in the purest sense of the word. It's meat log. Have you heard of the mystery flesh pit? I don't believe I have. What a thrill. Let's 
Good Beatles song, though, yeah? It's an actual national park. I, I don't know what people are trying to tell me. There's like a flesh pit, but it's a park. fun kind of horror project. ARG set in Texas. Giant underground creature that people walk around inside like it's a national park. It's interesting. We need more stuff like that. Like seriously, I want more interactive exhibits. I want more strange like art exhibits that you could just walk around. That's why I went to sleep no more five times. I've heard of Omega Mart, yeah. I, I'm always looking for like interactive theater and stuff like that, yeah. Well, if it's in New York. As a fellow lazy person. Germa would like this house flipper level. High ratings? <clears throat> Low ratings? I don't know. Would you have lost hope of survival by now? Well, unless I had some equipment with which to uh, utilize the meat. Yeah, maybe. They moved? I guess we went back into the pool rooms. <laughs> well, it, you know, it's a mysterious, weird ending, so you have fun think about that, you know, have fun. But uh, I would say I like this a lot. Just the atmosphere of it and the little, the little moments that separate it from some of the other ones. Visuals, sound, atmosphere was all perfect. You have to be into these kinds of games. And... I don't know how much more latitude, or not, uh, mileage rather, we, we would be getting out of more pools in future pool room games. I feel like we have probably hit the peak of what pool rooms could be with a game like this. Happy to be proven wrong, happy to be surprised.
but yeah, uh, I feel like that was very entertaining, especially to ponder what it would actually be like. And it did not overstay its welcome. So, I would say, worth checking out. There's probably a lot of stuff I missed. And, uh, it seems like, again, it, you get the feeling of being lost, but you don't actually get too lost. But I do, yeah, I like stuff like that. I actually have another game that's kind of similar that is more, I think, overtly scary that I'll play in a future time. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun for me to play. Yeah, that's it. So thanks, everybody. Chat, really nice to have you here. I hope uh, today's stream was fun for everyone else, and I will be around... Like I said, there's going to be some abiotic factor, some Valheim, potentially Valheim, because I'm not sure I want to do both Valheim and abi abiotic factor, so we'll see. And I'm just going to keep working through random games that, you know, appeal to my interests, as well as maybe finish Felvidek and some other, some other crap that I have that I haven't played. So... Anyway, that's it for me. Good night, chat. Have a great evening, day, morning, whatever it is. And I appreciate your continued viewership and support of the channel. However you do so, even if it's just watching, you have my deepest appreciation. And uh, remember... Go to hell.